Hey, Charlie Ho there champs and welcome to the show. Today I just want to have a little sort of informal chat about chipset Intel are bringing out. It's the X299 chipset and with that comes the Skylake X and Kaby Lake X processors. Now this is what I've read in an article from WCCF Tech written by Hassan Taba and basically what they're saying is in August this year Intel are going to be releasing their Skylake X and Kaby Lake X processors basically what we're talking about here is up to 10 core Skylake X processors and quad core Kaby Lake X processors now it's supposed to be launched at Gamescon 217 this year built on Intel's 14 nanometer technology and based on Intel's x299 chipset now this should be the chipset that replaces the x99 which is currently the enthusiast high-end chipset that intel have at the moment where you can put your broadwell e or haswell processors in there you can get up to 10 core processors you can even put xeons well in excess of over 20 cores in the x99 platform so this is probably the death of the x99 platform and it is actually an aging platform it's a platform i use and I come across this because I was actually searching for a new X99 motherboard because the one I have doesn't have Thunderbolt and it has two M.2 slots but they're not full speed. So I thought well, I'll have a look and I'll see if I can find a new X99 motherboard with two full speed M.2 slots and Thunderbolt built hopefully into the I.O. and I don't have to use an add-in card. You can get Thunderbolt 3 add-in cards but I don't like to use add-in cards, they're messy and also you can just run into problems having adding cards into your computer i mean all right 90 percent of the time you're all right but i have had adding cards that work on some computers and just don't work on others for some unknown reason i don't know why but yeah i'll just prefer it if it was actually built into the system this x299 chipset with the skylake and Kaby lake x processors which will replace the 6900 and the 6950x and and 6850 and stuff like that this will be the performance enthusiast chipset of choice now will be the new platform it will replace the x99 and with it you're supposed to get quad core memory channel you should be able to get i would say you should be able to get over 128 gigabytes considering that x99 supports 128 gigabytes you would think this new platform would support more but it might be limited to 128 i don't know it's also supposed to have more pci lanes I think it's up to six more PCI Express lanes or the Skylake one says four extra PCI Express lanes. Of course, you will have to have the CPU that is able to use all those lanes, which the Skylake X and Kaby Lake X will be able to. And it should have Thunderbolt 3 built in into the chipset itself it shouldn't be an extra chip on the board it should actually just be built into the chipset so you should get more m.2s you'll probably be getting up to two three m.2 slots full speed should have thunderbolt 3 built in full speed you possibly could have multiple thunderbolt 3 ports should have loads of usb-c ports there and it's really the upgrade that the intel system needs because i love the x99 platform but yeah it's showing its age now and i'm actually holding off i'm not going to get another motherboard i'm going to wait and see what's going on with this x299 platform with the skylake and Kaby lake x so i just thought i'd share that with you hopefully this article's true it's legit and if you're thinking about going into the x99 platform you might want to wait and should you upgrade if you got x99 no probably not hopefully what this means is the 6900k and the and the 6950x and the 6850k they should all drop in price hopefully and this is actually a real kick in the guts for amd because you know amd are coming out with processors that are supposed to match the x99 6900k and then what do intel do boom here is me cabby lake and sky lake x yeah let's get to the next level it's really actually sad for amd we'll have to see hopefully amd blow us all away and we create some real competition and we just see those prices come down because the price of the 6950x is just that's just stupid and even the 6850 i won't be paying those prices and hopefully we'll get those cpus under a thousand dollars when the amd ryzen comes out and when the skylake and Kaby lake x come out so it might be worth actually keeping the x99 motherboard 
because the prices of those CPUs may drop as all the enthusiasts move to the X299 platform. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. You might want to hold off if you're thinking of getting an X99 platform PC build. And if I helped you out here, give me a thumbs up there, guys. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I really appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.